Hi, I'm here with Paul Reynolds to talk about the new Nook Color from Barnes & Noble. Paul, tell me what's so special about this new ebook reader. It's the best standalone color ebook reader we've ever tested. Its type is almost as crisp and readable as the black and white Nook, which has a pretty good screen, and it's a lot better than the other color ebook readers that we've taken a look at. How does it stack up against tablet computers? It has a color LCD screen like those devices, but it's less versatile. It has a pretty good web browser for an ebook reader, but it's not as good as the ones on tablets like the iPad, and there are a lot less apps to choose from. What did we like about it? Are there any pluses? You can play videos, although not flash videos, on it, which you can't do on other dedicated ebook readers. And the type is a little crisper and more readable than it is on, say, the iPad, and it costs less than you'll pay for a good tablet computer, like the Galaxy or iPad. So what about navigating around to get to the content that you want, or moving through books, for example? How does that work? It seems pretty straightforward. You use the touch screen, and the experience is a little bit like that on smartphones that use an Android operating system like this does. Page turns are pretty fast and we like the fact that you can turn pages by tapping along the edge of them. You can also swipe across the screen. And now for the big question, how does the color look? There's not a whole lot of content there yet, but what's there looks very good. You can look at color magazines either in full pages or pull up just the text. And books with video content are coming in 2011. So tell me, Paul, who might want one of these? It's really best suited to people who want a very good ebook reader, plus the ability to read books, magazines, and newspapers in color. But you have to be willing to pay about $100 more than you'd pay for a black and white ebook reader with the same screen size and same Wi Fi connectivity. Great, Paul. Thanks so much. I'm Amber Tentoff for Consumer Reports.